a look at this man. He was born before Israel was even a country, and he is still fighting for his home. This is 95-year-old Israeli Army reservist Ezra Yakin. You know, he has been called up to give motivational speeches to soldiers likely headed to the front line. Yes, Fox 13's Evan Axelbank reports for us tonight. His proud son lives in the Bay Area in Polk County. Ezra Yakin is proof that determination has no expiration date. I don't think you can find anybody else that can believe so much. The oldest Israeli reservist was just 19 when he went to war for Israel during the 1948 war for independence. Having just seen six million Jews murdered, he vowed then, as he does today, that never again would be his motto. The only two things can stop him. Number one is there are not going to be no enemies. And number two is death. His son Ariel is watching from Auburndale as his dad suits up again. One, to show current Israeli defense forces the price of freedom. He lost sight in one eye after taking fire in battle. And two, to explain to those going to the front lines what they're fighting for. His generation of 1948 had a time, and now this is their time, to change history and, and to make it, and to fight with the spirit, like you said, uh, uh, with the belief, with, 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 the, with the faith, and, 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 and with the soul. And he certainly has soul. I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel. This was taken this week, following the latest in a series of over 9,000 motivational speeches he's given since he went to war 75 years ago. He's also written scores of books in hopes his experiences live on. Then he said, I need to be here because any day I'm not here, it's one day less that I can teach the youth. Uh, uh, about uh, 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 the love of this land and what we need to do. This war will include three generations of his family, including his 27-year-old grandson. They all hope this will be the last time any of them are needed. Hopefully it's going to be the last, the last, the last war. Uh, I, I don't know if the last war, but the last, you know, a, a threat in that kind of suffering. But if it's not the last time, he'll be there. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.